Hello and welcome to another video from the Micro Rooster. Uh, today's topic is going to be short and I'm going to focus on a simple version or the basic version of single sign-on. The idea here is when you try to integrate MicroStrategy with uh, within other systems or environments. So what you can do here is you can integrate the sign-on so that it's kind of seamless. So when you use MicroStrategy, you're already authenticated. There are multiple ways to go about this. There's different configurations. I'm just gonna talk about the initial setup and the simple setup using Windows, and you can use it as a guide to your other uh, configurations. So I'm gonna go into my server here, and the first thing I wanna do, go to my administrator page. So here, I'm gonna go to my properties. I'm gonna be connected. I'm gonna go to my properties or disconnected and connect later. So if you notice here in my login mode, I'm going to scroll down, you will notice that there are few things that I can enable or disable such as LDAP, database authentication, integrated authentication, trusted authentication. So if you have other uh, third party authentications, you can enable them here or you can even enable guests if you don't have any secure data. The typical, the default for username and password. What I want to enable is the Windows authentication. In this case, I had it already enabled, but you can go ahead and enable it if you do not have it enabled. And if you do enable it, you always want to make sure that you save. You start your web server, disconnect, and reconnect if you don't have it automatically reconnecting. So this is the first step that we're going to do. Now, doesn't mean we're done. Let's go and take a look. See what MicroStrategy says. All right, so it says, okay, you enabled Windows authentication, so it gave you a link here. Obviously, it still did not perform any single <clears throat> sign on. I'm going to click on this link and see what happens. <clears throat> so it says you cannot log in as a Windows user yet, okay? So we did the first step. Now, the second step is to make sure your IIS or your web server is, um, is going to allow you to authenticate. So one way to go about this, I'm using uh, Windows uh, 10 in this case, but you can use any other version. They're all similar. I'm going to locate under Administrative Tools, the IIS Manager. I'm going to open it. I will go under Sites. I can do it for all, but I'll choose just MicroStrategy. And notice here in this little box, you have the IIS authentication, configuration authentication. I'm going to double click it and notice it says Windows authentication enabled, anonymous authentication disabled. Great. Or right click it and click disable or enable. You also want to make sure that anonymous is disabled. I've seen this cause problems when anonymous authentication is still enabled. So you want to disable it. You want to keep this one enabled. That's fine and this one enabled. Once you're done, if you did this or you made any changes, you go back here and you restart, okay? So you just click restart, give it a few seconds, boom, you're good, okay? If you don't restart after you make a change, it's not going to take effect. Alright, so we, we're done with the second step. Now let's try it again and see what happens. Windows authentication and it's still telling us you don't have the intelligent server administrator linked to the user account. Into my developer, MicroStrategy, log into my server or my project source. I'm going to look up the users and see what I. So I have a bunch of users. Now, if I want to link using Windows, I need to associate it with a Windows account. Now, you're saying, okay, what is the Windows account? Well, it's simple. If you're on a laptop and you're logging in, your profile is your user account. So, let me show you here. So, if I go into my strategy, into Windows, and I'm looking at the, if I'm looking at user accounts, this is you, or in this case, this is me. My name is admin, okay? You might have a different name depending on your network or your connection. Anyway, so you have users, and on my laptop, 
my username is admin. That's a Windows account, okay? That qualifies for that setting. So I'm gonna minimize this or go here. And I already had created this, but you can create it from scratch. I haven't configured it yet, I just created it. So I created an admin, admin. I said test single sign on on latitude, it's my server. And I have a password and password uh, confirmation. So just type in anything you can remember. The authentication has two parts, a metadata and a warehouse. Some users or some environments require a warehouse password as well. In this case, it is a third party password depending on your database. And you can enter your passwords right here for a user. Okay, obviously the user, the metadata end is the single sign on part. So here, because we want to use a Windows user, we need to browse or search. And I can do the search little box and I know it's called admin right so I'm gonna click admin and enter so it found my admin user on my server okay just a reminder this is not the MicroStrategy administrator this is the Windows admin user profile so don't get confused you're done with this okay so now this is linked okay so what I'm gonna do here I generally recommend after making such change to restart your iServer. You want to restart it every now and then whenever you're making such uh, changes. It sometimes does work. Let's make sure that the web server is running and if you have it automatically set up it'll reconnect after the server iServer runs. Sometimes take a few moments afterwards so don't be hasty. But anyway at this point we were going to test the single sign-on and open a new link. Great, here's my project. And let's try the Windows authentication method instead of entering the username password. And great, I was able to log in. Okay, now just wanna show you one more thing. I'm gonna log out here. Typically when you wanna do single sign-on, you don't wanna see this login page. So how do we get rid of this login page? That's the final step. Go back to your administrator, it's a simple step. Go to your pro default properties as a web server and see this default link? Just click on this one right here. Okay. So now I'm setting up Windows to be, I'm going to disconnect and reconnect just to. So now I'm going to test it. I'm going to go to my web page and boom, I automatically got connected to my project. I didn't see that sign on because it's using my Windows username or profile name to authenticate me here. So again, this is very simple. I'm using a simple machine and a simple login, but if you have a, you know, a network, a Windows network, you could use do the same thing pretty much. Or you could use anything else if you had a third party like we showed here. There are different options that you could use. And thank you very much for joining us today.